guys, what's happening? We are the F2 and you may remember me setting Jed the whippage challenge. Yeah! Well played Jed, excuse me. Now, one of you guys commented in setting me the ultimate sledgehammer challenge, Jez. What are the rules, fella? The rules are pretty simple. You have to score using a sledgehammer. The ball has to hit the net without a bounce. We're going to start on a six yard line, which will be pretty easy, and move further away until you are out of range. Are you ready, Bill? Can I walk back anyway? You can walk back anyway. That's a good walk back. It's good intent on the face. Mate, I'm only looking at that GoPro. I'm looking forward to seeing this, Bill. Oh! The GoPro got smashed! When you try your best, but you don't succeed. And then you cut to the GoPro angle. <laughs> You've had to do it, haven't you, Bill? You've had to go top bins. You couldn't just hit the back of the net. You've had to go top. And you know what? I've got a lot of time for that. Mate, it's what we do. It's what we do. What's next now? What's next? <laughs> Seriously. Next is the penalty spot. Same rules apply. You've got to just smash it, hit the back of the net without a bounce, mate. I'm going to have to treat this like I'm in a World Cup final. What would I do in a World Cup final? What sort of penalty sledgehammer would I take? I'm guessing something a little bit like this. Side netting, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Is the side netting alright or um <laughs> Is the side Bill is the, is the side net I've got to set it up again now. Can we get some water over here, please? It's all right, mate. Don't move. No, don't, don't, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Just deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> you ain't gonna help him. <laughs> He's on his own. Mate, I think you're out for two weeks. If I'm honest. If I'm honest. Let's get a stretch. Get a stretch. Let's get a stretcher as well. Yeah. He's done. He's done. No. He's done. He's done. He's done. <laughs> right. Come over. So. Hang on a minute. You think you're holding all this together? Where was you when he was in need? Selfish. Selfish. Selfish punk. So, <laughs> so that was nice. Next up, edge of the box. Again, this is well within range, but I'm looking forward to when we get to the edge, to the limits of his range. So, yep, edge of the box. You know the drill. Sledgehammer, so mash it. Upson, I want you to zoom in on the ball, zoom out on the ball, and then swipe to me. I'm ready, go back. I'm ready, go back. I'm ready. I think he's ready. <laughs> Boom! Wow. Speed radar is saying. Yeah, no, nah, you broke it. You've broken it. It's broken. Uh, let me check the batteries. The yeah, no, no. Nah. Hold on, let me get rid of the Duracell ones that you're holding. It shows you the bar. Yeah, they're full. They're full. They're full. It's a sensor you want to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> right, next one, edge of the D. Now, any children that are watching this, go and tell your parents, notify YouTube that there should be an age restriction on this. I mean, this type of power is unforgivable. I've built it up now, Jez. I know you have. <laughs> I've built it up, but I'm going to try and smash it as hard as I can. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, take that. oh, my oh, God. Take that. Mate, replay. Don't cut to me. We're replay. Oh, replay. What an absolute worldie. Bill, unbelievable. All right, are you ready for the next one? Yeah, where are you going to put me? So I'm starting on the D, eight steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pow, and that's your next point. Okay, it's getting a bit, diff this, bit more difficult. This ain't my comfort zone. I would never sledgehammer from here because it's too unpredictable. I would ping it. But Bill, you got to show, show the kids it's all about coming out of your comfort zone. I think this is on. This is getting to the limits of your comfort zone. But then you've got other zones beyond the comfort zone that are semi-comfort zone. You've got you've got quarter comfort zones. What, what would Latin do? Latin would do this. I'll put you under pressure there. <laughs> I was really just trying to pull it. Latin would do this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh! 
your comfort zone. Mate, it wasn't. It usually go back in the, in the back of the net. No, I messed I'm up. Proud of that. Mate, I've got to redo that. I've got to redo it. I've got to redo it. Do I get another chance? Uh, you do. One second, I've got, I've got a ball coming. Slats. Yeah, oh, you've seen it. Unbelievable, right? What a collab. You're up for it, Bill. What's your budget? What's your budget? <laughs> <laughs> What's your budget? Tell me get back to him. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> right, I've got to go one wall before my groin ends up in the pitch over there. I better go. Wait, is that ball in the right position? Yeah, it was, yeah. Okay, good, cool, cool. Doubting whether the ball was in the right position. Of course it was. Boom. Nice one, Bill. So, on to the next distance. You go to your last point and another eight steps. It's that simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pow. Done it. Now we're getting to the real. I still think mm. this is this is you know what? this is all right. I think he's all right on this. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on the sledgehammer, just click the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button. But what I'm going to say to you guys, one little nugget of advice is, I get angry. <laughs> Be before I strike the ball, I get angry. Inside I'm going, mm. I literally am. I take a second, I get angry and I think... <laughs> wow. Bill, that's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. There's something that you guys should know about the sledgehammer as well. It took Bill years as a kid to master that technique where he uses his whole body momentum, full follow through. Don't give him too much, Jess. To get, yeah, well, I'm just try talk. I'm trying to paint a picture. We have done some filming with some pro keepers. Um, we haven't released all the videos yet, but none of the pro keepers can react to the sledgehammer. When, he, when you connect, it's true, isn't it? I'm not just saying that. It's The power is... A lot of you guys say our keepers are rubbish. Um, the difference is if you strike the ball with so much power, the keepers don't have time to react to that. That's, that's the key. Like, it may not be top bins, it may just be next to them, but by the time they see the ball leave the foot, they can't react in time. Nope. That's not me bigging myself up. That's just a tech, that's just a technicality behind the sledgehammer. Dedicating this one to my dad who's passed away, all right? Can I do that? All right, dad, this is for you. I love you. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! That is it, that is a wrap. That is the end of the video, guys. Please make sure you click the like, click notification. Thank you all for all your amazing support. That is it, I'm lost for words. No more words to say, you've seen it the ridiculous superhuman power of the sledgehammer. Unbelievable. Bill. Wow. Unbelievable. If you guys want to see the tutorial on that, drop a like and we'll do it. We'll teach you how to do it. I'm surprised from that distance I could hit the side netting. The sledgehammer is all about the ball not dropping down to hit the target. It rises up or it stays at that level. That's the um, key behind it. Mm. But it's hard to do hit the side netting with that power, that trajectory from there. I don't think any of your shots went above the crossbar, and that is... That they're they're is, not meant to, they're meant to just fly. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. pure power, just sheer power. Guys, comment below as well, any other challenges that you wanna see us take on. This one was suggested by you guys. We do read the comments and we will be taking them on, so let us know.